Doc Rampageo here with another toy unboxing on Doomkick TV. Today we're looking at the First Order Flame Trooper and the Finn in First Order Stormtrooper outfit. Let's dive right in. Kicking it off with Finn in Stormtrooper outfit. Um, this is essentially the same figure as the First Order Troopers we've got before, but with this flashy fin head, which is pretty similar in sculpt to the other fin. It is a different sculpt, but it's not leagues different. Definitely is a good likeness of John Boyega, however you say that. Um, it's very cool. My issue with this figure is the helmet. It fits on his head great, but I don't like the handprint. I would have much preferred to have a fin that can double as a regular First Order Trooper, and now he's just a figure of one moment in time in the movie, which I never like in an action figure. That's why I don't like battle damage or um, weathered. I like a figure to be nice and clean and just look like it's supposed to look normally and not be a snapshot of a time. However, I think this is a great figure. I like the removable um, First Order helmet. He has the same weapons as the other First Order Troopers, which is the blaster rifle and the blaster pistol. They also connect to the leg, just like the other First Orders. And much like the other First Order figures, the lack of um, double hinged elbows or bicep swivels kind of limits the gun poses you can get him in. Um, great looking figure. It's good to have another Stormtrooper disguise figure in the line, even though this isn't really a disguise so much as his original outfit. Um, minus the bloody handprint on the helmet, I think this guy is great. Even that doesn't bother me too much, but it is a mark against this figure. The First Order Flame Trooper is a figure I've been pretty excited about since I saw the movie, because these guys were bad ass. Now this guy is cool for a lot of reasons. He is um, a different sculpt than the other First Order Stormtroopers, which is nice. He's got the head like the um, Snow Troopers, a little bit different. Uh, different armor. And he's got his flamethrower backpack and the flamethrower itself. The backpack is a simple plug. Is it a simple plug? <laughs> And the hose connects to the gun. And his hands are a bit too small to get the gun into. So you're going to have to stretch him out. Jeez, this gun is very soft. Soft gun, hard hands, not a good combo, Hasbro. I can't even get it in there because his hand keeps closing. And the gun is so soft. Here we go. And like I said with Finn, the lack of double hinged elbows or bicep swivel really limits this guy's articulation. But... You know, that's the world we live in now, I guess. So we're just going to have to deal with not having the posing options that the Stormtroopers have. Which I find a little disheartening, but what can I do? I'm just one man in a sea of people. So yeah, you get the Flame Trooper. He's like... <sighs> Great looking figure. He's going to look good on the shelf. Uh, mostly black and white. Um, some red paint apps here and there. Um, I really like Stormtroopers. If you've been watching the videos or reading this out, you know that. So I'm always excited to have another version. And yeah, the Star Wars Black continues to be great. And this was an unboxing of Stormtrooper Finn and the First Order Stormtrooper Flame Trooper. Stormtroopers forever. Doc Rampageo, DKTV, out.